All right, hello gamers. Today is Wednesday, July 31st, and we've got some new Guild Wars 2 news that is worth going over. Uh, as many of you know, uh, in the upcoming expansion, Janthier Wilds, they are adding a homestead, which is their version of player housing. Not to be confused with the player home instance, although the existing player home instance, many of the things from that are being imported over to the homestead systems. This is an article that appears to have a lot of FAQ, that's frequently asked questions, about the homestead system. So, Homestead Essentials Living in Janthier Wilds. Greetings, Tyrians! Gather around the fire and settle in as we chat with Andrew Gray and Joel Eckert, two of the designers working to bring you one of the newest features in Guild Wars 2, Janthier Wilds. Today, they'll conjure a magical doorway and take us on a tour of homesteads. With the launch just a few weeks away, we're excited to answer some essential questions that will help you on your journey says hello, help you on your journey to turn a plot of land into a home. In the next few weeks, we'll be sure to check out our social media channels for inspiring homestead designs and join us soon for a live stream where we'll explore homesteads even further. For now, we'll be covering some of the general homesteads information that you'll need to know. Uh, and then we've got a picture here of uh, some plants and a wall with graffiti on it. Okay, scrolling down. How do I get my homestead? Answer. The story of Guild Wars 2 Janthier Wilds will introduce you to the plot of land that you will tend to and claim as your homestead. Not really a big surprise there, you're just going to go through the story as they present it, and you will be given it at some point during the main quest line. Question. How do I access my homestead? Answer. Once your homestead is unlocked, you'll have access to a Summon Conjured Doorway Mastery. Any character on your account can just conjure a doorway and simply step through into the homestead. Okay, so that's kind of cool. That means you can access it from anywhere. You don't have to waypoint to a sp certain uh, specific spot on the map, um, as is the case with the current player housing. Uh, it's not a huge deal because there is, uh, there, well, there is a ca uh, gem store item that ports you to your home instance, I think, or puts a waypoint in there. Um, and there are waypoints right next to the player housing in most of the cities. But this makes it even easier. Uh, can friends visit my homestead? Yes, you can invite your party members to your homestead via your conjured doorway. Players who are not in a party can use the door to request an invitation from the door owner, and the owner interacting with the door will initiate the uh, instance transfer countdown. You can even give your visitors permission to help decorate your homestead. Okay, so this is cool for a number of reasons. Um, one, in existing player housing, you can have other people zone in with you. Now, with the current system, you have to be in a party, not squad, a party with the other people that want to join you. And then you zone in, they get a pop-up saying, do you want to zone in too? And they have to hit yes within like 15 seconds or something. And then you zone in together. If they don't hit a button and then you're already inside and they want to zone in, you have to zone back out and then back in with them to get them in. Um, that you, you have to zone in at the same time. So this actually makes that system a little easier because it says that if they're late, uh, they can just request at the door. Now, I slightly worry, like one, if you've got someone that's, if you could, are we just gonna have doors all over the world? And then like people can just bother you by spam interacting with your door. I hope that if you block someone that they can't just spam on your door and you mess with it. Uh, I also hope you can just close your door. Like if you if you go through the door, if you, I, I would love an option, just close it behind you so you're not leaving like a, you know, a litter around the world, you know, like uh, weavers leaving their elemental weapons all over the place. Uh, just, you know, no one wants to see that. Um, so the transfer instance countdown, you can even give your visitors permission to help decorate your homestead. This is pretty interesting too. Uh, right now there, for example, there was one person in our community that made, uh, one of those uh, roller beetle racetracks in one of the guild halls of one of the guilds I made. Um, and he basically, uh, came in and, you know, he, he asked it to do it and we were like, heck yeah, that's awesome. Uh, we gave him some special, uh, permissions. Like he had, he had to give him like a special rank in the guild to do it. And then he was able to decorate it. Um, this allows you to get someone else's help to do that. Or let's say you want to have, I don't know, like a, a, a pretty log cabin in your homestead, uh, but you don't feel like you're the creative sort, you could maybe hire someone. Uh, maybe people could, uh, you know, sell their services as interior decorators, you know? Not my thing, but I know some people think it would re be really hype about that. You know, just go around and decorate people's homes and stuff. Uh, so that would be, that could be pretty cool. Um, question. Can I return to my original location, the place I entered from, when I exit my homestead? 
Answer, yes. You'll find a familiar instance exit button in the lower right of your screen that will return you to your previous location. Excellent. This will even persist across sessions. So if you log out and log back into your homestead to take advantage of the homestead's resting bonus, upon logging back in, the uh, instance exit button will return you to your last open world location. This will not persist if you visit another instance, though. Uh, that Okay, so that works pretty much the same way as it does with current systems in the game that are like that. So like if you've got a Mislock Sanctuary passkey and you port to Mislock Sanctuary, um, you can then hit the Mislock passkey again to go back to where you were before, which is really nice for alt parking. If you've got some uh, character that you never played that's sitting on top of a mountaintop next to a treasure chest and each day you log in and open that chest, you can then, when his bags get full, uh, teleport to... The homestead. Well, I don't know if the homestead's going to have a bank, so that's a bad example, but you could teleport uh, using one of those scrolls I mentioned, unload stuff at the bank, and then teleport back. Uh, PvP lobby could also be done for that, I suppose. Okay, what can I unlock for my homestead? Uh, answer, as you progress your homesteading mastery, you'll unlock more rooms with your homestead to decorate. You'll also unlock improvements to your lumber mill, mine, and farm facilities. Because upgrades and spawns for your personal story home instance carry over to the homestead, you can also collect the various gathering nodes, convenience features, and characters like the Hungry Cats. Uh, so they had already said that you could get the nodes there. Um, this other stuff, I, I know a lot of people were like, well, what about the cats? Uh, I didn't collect the cats, but I know a lot of people that collected the cats at the home instance. For those that don't know, they're just cosmetic. They're just playful. They run around. The funniest two, I think, are the cat manders. There's like a, two different colored, like red and blue or green and yellow or something. There's two different colored cat manders and they send l tiny, tiny little armies of mini cats at each other. And they have like a world v. world battle in your home instance. Um, but there, there are cat collections you can do just for fun. Um, the home instance nodes actually, you know, give money over time. I've plugged those in many videos in the past. Uh, the homestead, they've already announced, will have a collect all button. So you can zone in, hit collect all, select the glyph you want to use, say like volatile magic, and then just grab everything at once. So I'm really looking forward to that just for the convenience of that. Um, as far as convenience features... Convenience features that will carry over from the home story instance. I'm trying to think of what that could be referenced to. There's the board, the bulletin board, if you got it from the gem store, that could send you mails with free stuff every day. If you're a high-level chef, there is the uh, stove. Uh, if you're a max-level chef, you'll have a stove in your home instance. And if you have that, that gives you bank access. Uh, so they could be referring to those things. Um, and finally, you can unlock decorations through the Handy Worker Discipline, which is a refined account-wide crafting ability. And then we got a picture here of a house. Uh, looks like a you know, bedroom, pillows, and pictures, tables, and chairs. And probably every single item here is an asset uh, that you know that they put into the thing. Like this, this wall might even be multiple assets. Like that might be just a plain wood wall, and then this is a decoration that they put on it, possibly. Uh, question: Can we control where the unlocked nodes spawn? Things like no resource nodes, cats, and chests are placed in predetermined areas to ensure they all function properly. So that is the same as it was in the home instance. Question, where do homestead decorations come from? Uh, when a mommy and a, da uh, a daddy homestead decoration uh, love each other very much, they give each other a special hug. Now, Handy Worker is the new crafting discipline that will be used to create decorations. New decorations are unlocked via mastery points spent in the homesteading mastery line. Uh, tell me more about Handiwork, the new personal version of Guild Scribing. Handiwork functions very similarly to Scribing, but it is designed to balance for a single player to be able to craft things on their own. There is a material cost for each copy of a decoration you craft, but the prices for personal decorations via Handiworker Crafting are significantly lower. Why is Handiworker Crafting part of a mastery line and not leveled like other crafting disciplines? Since your homestead is account bound, we wanted your handiworker crafting discipline to be account bound. We also wanted to create a stronger synergy between the content of Janthier Wilds and your homestead. So rather than reaching higher levels of a crafting discipline by crafting more decorations inside your homestead, you'll instead do so by playing the rest of Janthier Wilds content and earning regular experience points. How do I decorate my homestead? A decorate button on the heads up display or the skill panel will activate decorating mode. In this mode, players will have access to various skills on the skill bar for placing new decorations, modifying already placed decorations, or removing decorations. Additionally, you can enter a flying mode that allows placement of items anywhere a player normally cannot reach. 
So half of that is very similar to how you decorate a guild hall right now, and some of that is new, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll be demonstrating homestead decoration live on Twitch this Friday, August 2nd at noon at PDT UTC minus 7. So that is this coming Friday, two days from the time of recording this. Join us to catch the placement tools, which include a toggle x-ray vision skill and flying mode in action. They actually showed that. Uh, they, they showed that in a recent stream for those who didn't see it. They gave an example of they had a, a big statue of Joko and they wanted it to look like it was buried in the ground. And it was a statue from like, you know, bottom of the feet to the top of the head. And they, they put it all the way underground, except for like, you know, this much of the head was peeking up, you know, like it was just buried in sand. Um, and the rest was underground. And they could go into x-ray mode to be able to see it anytime they needed to tamper with it. Um, you could also put items into other items. There was one uh, uh, person for PC Gamer, and he made like a, put like a dragon head statue, and then he took these lamps that were like, uh, this is my keyboard armrest before you get the wrong idea. He had like a long standing lamp that had a light bulb on top. And then he put it through the dragon's head so the top of the lamp was poking through the eye to make the eyes glow on the dragon. So you can clip through things on purpose if it, you know, helps you make the thing you want to make. Uh, question, how do the characters on my account interact with the homestead? Uh, and then we got another picture here real quick. Uh, little split house going on here. Answer, when you exit to the character selection screen while inside your homestead, the characters you were playing will be visible in your homestead as an NPC while you play other characters. These NPC versions of your characters default to one of three predetermined locations in the homestead based on whether they are soldiers who wear heavy armor, adventurers who wear medium armor, or scholars who wear light armor. Soldiers are found around the main homestead structure and the entry area near the portal. Adventurers will be found on the far side of the river near the main homestead building in a wilder area. Scholars are found in and around a secluded cave away from the main homestead, which is perfect for concentrating. Perfect. So all the elementalists are timeout. <laughs> If you approach any of these logged out alternate characters, you can ask them to follow you and lead them elsewhere. When you're ready for them to stay put again, you can ask them to stay and they'll stop following. Uh, but how do I make all my mucklucks line up and dance? That's what I need to know. How do I make them do that? Uh, if you approach any... Uh, we already read that. Uh, question. Will all of the characters I leave in the homestead when I log out show up? Can I control which ones show up or disable them? All characters left within the homestead when you log out will be visible when you're playing other characters. Uh, so real quick, this this is kind of a fun thing. It's kind of a, a, a cute thing. Uh, I will say it's a, it's a loss on money. Um, definitely whenever you've got characters that you're not playing, uh, in my, my recommendation is alt parking, find a treasure chest and sit them next to it. Once a day, log in, open chest, log out, and their bag will slowly fill with money. Uh, so putting them in the homestead instead, uh, just, you give that up. So for me, you know, moving my characters to the homestead, while it might be funny for like a cute video or something like that, I'm going to put them right back to the alt parking afterward because it's a, it's a loss of income for me to uh, leave them in the homestead. Uh, question, can we control the appearance and dyes of mounts in the stable? How are those chosen? Mounts housed within the mount stable will have the same skin and die settings used by the player character that is currently accessing the homestead. The skiffs, die, and skin are controlled by the same means. <laughs> Mine are going to be like plushies and stuff. Uh, will there be a live stream to show off homesteads? You already said there would. Whoever asked the questions for this is silly. There will be a live stream. As we mentioned above, we'll be showing off the design of once and finer details of the homesteads feature on Twitch channel, August 2nd, noon, PT Pacific Standard Time. We'll uh, hope to see you there. And then there's a little preview picture here. And there's a bear out there. That's, uh, that's Shypash. Uh, homestead preview live stream. And there's the same date and time that we've said twice already. Uh, you can pre-purchase any edition of Guild Wars 2 Janthier Wilds before the expansion launches well, to grant yourself the Homesteader title, the Whispering Serpent's Pauldron skin, and a box with your choice of one Serpent's Wrath weapon skin. Visit the official store page uh, by clicking on Mucklux referral link in the description below this video for full details on the items included in the Standard Deluxe and Ultimate Editions. Uh, hashtag ad. There we go. And that is it. That was pretty cool. Uh, there was a, very much uh, a few neat things there. Um, good, nice clarification on how we access the homestead, how we get other people in there. I think it's cool that people can join late. Uh, I know when I would take people into my home instance, if I had like a full group, so it was me plus four, and we all zone in, and freaking Billy didn't zone in because his computer's a toaster. And then, you know, we zone into the home instance, and then, you know, Jim, John, and Joe, they all start farming stuff. And then I'm like, oh, sorry, I gotta get Billy. And I zone back out, which kicks Jim, John, and Joe out. 
and then have to zone all four of us back in again. And it's just, it's tedious. Uh, and, you know, and the whole thing is just, I'm trying to help people. I'm like, because either way, I'm getting my home instant stuff. I'm just trying to let them have free money too. But uh, this makes it much easier, the fact that they could just kind of knock on the door. I'm a fan of that. I just hope they take precautions for people like spamming it to annoy you and things like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Also, I hope that we don't have a result. Like, I don't know, maybe make it to where you only see doors of people on your friends list or something. Because I, I don't want to walk through Lion's Arch and just see a just sea of doors. That's another thing that could be a problem. Like, I hope that they either expire or only you see your friends or something. Um, so hoping for that. Um, and then going back to the original location, good quality of life. That's the same thing they have on the VIP passes. Uh, and then, you know, some clarification on how the other stuff works. And I think we're going to see people, uh, you know, selling themselves as interior decorators. Uh, that's going to be pretty funny. People have like a portfolio, the portfolio. Be like, oh, yes, I am the one who decorated John's home instance. Would you like to buy my services? <laughs> that's how they sound. I don't, I don't know. You you know it. It's it's kind of like how guardians wear capes. You just know it. it, it I don't know. But that is uh, that is my thoughts on Homestead Essentials Living in Janthier Wilds. If you've got any questions, problems, thoughts, concerns, or comments on what I have missed, put it in the comment section down below. I'll fight you there.